Hello, guys. How are you? Pretty good? Hi. How are you? Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Fernando. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Blanky. Hi, Joshi. Hi. Hi. Oh, you were drinking. Uh. <laughs> you know what? I, yeah, I, I I don't know what happened, but I when I tr first tried to log in, uh, something happened with the Zoom. They were asking me for something. I was like, no way. So basically, I just need to like close it and open again. That's why it was one minute late. I apologize for that because I'm always on time. But this is the first time the teacher is a little bit late. Not only one minute, only one minute. All righty. Tell me, how was the day? So far, so good? Andresito, welcome. Yes? Good Good evening, teacher. Good evening. We we missed Andresito yesterday, right? Uh, sorry, teacher. Yesterday I had problems with my internet. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I was double checking, guys. Um, you were like chatting between you right now to the WhatsApp group. Then most of you had like a internet connection problems yesterday, right? Yes. I think I... it was you also, uh, Mr. Cortez. And who else? I think Dorita and who else? Somebody else mentioned it because you said that you were with, with one provider, right? So you were searching for <laughs> to move to a different provider, right? Because of that. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead, sir. Do you have the, the, the percentage of the attendance? The percentage? Yes. yes. You're still good right now. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Phew. Don't worry. Thanks. I don't know. Yes, one more in your. <laughs> only one? Yes, one uh, more and you're like. <laughs> but I, I only miss three Two. class. Two. But we can, we have 25%. I'm just teasing you, Andresito. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he was like, you, you you see, Fernando? He was about like ah, with the teacher, right? He was like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and and easy, Fernando teacher. was like, easy, easy, right? Take it easy. <laughs> and Fernando was about to like, hey, this is going to be a fight today. Okay. Hey, and you said, honey, let's bring another solid tariff because this is about to get really good. <laughs> W English WFF, right? You know what WFF is? No. The ah, fighting, okay. yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, but in this case, it's going to be English one. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing you. No, nah, I'm so happy, Andresito, that I know for a most of you, for, or for all of you, it's really hard to be here because um, due to your schedules, due to your responsibilities, and of course, we are human beings, right? We got tired, right? We got sick, I understand. You have like babies and wife and, and, and husbands. So I do understand, so don't worry about that. But I really appreciate it that you do like an extra effort and show your commitment to be here. I'm so happy every time that I see you. Even though Willen is almost falling asleep, because he's drinking his tea, and sometimes he just uh, like eating some fruit, right? Mr. Fernando, I was missing like he just normally drinks like his salutaries and a glass of water sometimes, but he came back with the salutaries and was really happy about that, yeah? Because it's really hot, right? I was missing that, oof. No, I mean, the salutaries is really hot. That's what I mean, okay? Don't, don't get confused. <laughs> ah, just Fernandito. Or also Josue, sometimes he's like, right? Yeah, and Blanky as well, Kenny. <sighs> Kenny needs to run. Also, Kathy needs to run to be on time. Joshi as well. Francisco, I love his background. I really love it. Alex is here. Blanquita. Yeah, but you did an extra effort to be here. And that's why I'm so happy every time that I can see you. Yeah. Mr. Alexander, yes, he still has his background. He just moved physically, but it's there. So that's good. Hey, you already have your dinner? Do you already have your dinner or not really? No. Really? Mm. Yes, everybody. But yes, you, yeah, you can answer this. Yes. In my case, I'm, I'm eating right. You're eating, Blanky? Oh, 
enjoyed it. Yeah. Enjoyed it. In English, it's enjoyed it. When you like eating something, especially if you're eating something that you like, everybody say, hey, uh, hey, if you say, hey, guys, I'm going back to, I'm going to lunch or lunch time or brunch or whatever time, meal it is. Everybody says, hey, enjoyed it. That means provecho, right? In English. And in, in French, it's bon appétit. Everybody says bon appétit, but that is wrong. Because in, in French, you, you do not pronounce the terminations. In this case, it's, it's, it's written bonne appétit, A-P-P-E-T-I-T, -E, -T -E. however, you do not pronounce the terminations. Do you say, bon, do you have to say bon appétit, no bon appétit? Mm. That's, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. So of course, yeah, yeah you see? With like pants para tu matata, right? Yeah, the pronunciation is really important. That you see, you're learning some French words as well. Ah, this is a multilingual class, of course. So in English, and in Spanish, provecho. In English, enjoy it. And in Francais, en français, bon appétit. Oui? Bon appétit, madame. See, it is a lady. Bon appétit, mademoiselle. If it's a girl, right? About teenage, like Kenya, Kathy, like this, or a single girl, of course. And um, for you guys, garçon, garçon is a guy. Also, garçon is the waiter when you are in a restaurant. You said garçon, yeah. But at the same, in that context, of course. But at the same time, garçon is like a boy. He's a boy. Or you can, if you want to call, like, for example, Mr. Irwin Lagos, right? That he's like, of course, he's like, he says he's still um, John, but he's like in his 50s, right? So you said, Monsieur, 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 Madame, Mademoiselle, and Garçon. <laughs> you see, you're learning French as well. Okay, hopefully you will never forget it. And I'm sorry, sometimes it's like, it, it is like when I, if I have like a cold, like garçon, garçon, because when French, we do use a lot of the nose and the throat, we use it a lot. You know what the really hard part is? The pronunciation, because in English, we use like Earl and L, right? Most of that time, Earl and L, and then switch it to like, that is like a little bit complicated. The pronunciation is the what, most complicated part in French. Besides grammar. And Francisco like, mm -hmm. but you know what? I, li I really like French uh, bread in the morning with a scrambled eggs and, and fried bean. Amazing. <laughs> All righty, guys, welcome to the jungle. So, hey, you learned something new today, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, do you remember how you said, el que siempre le encanta andar de, together with the teacher? Do you remember that? How you say that in English? Remember? We just, we yeah. learned that word. Duncan. What? The Duncan what? Uh-huh. Duncan? No, in English. Then I'm going to ask wow. you French. Remember? <laughs> remember? Yeah. We saw in a, in, a, in a few classes back. Yeah, sure, sure. Ah, kind of, kind of. No, but first of all, I need it in English. And then in French. French yeah, right. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What is in English? You remember that word? Ah, come on, shame on you. You don't remember, guys? No? A big Duncan, remember? The big Duncan. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. Yeah, it's Duncan, but it, well, you were Duncan. missing the, the adjective, the big Duncan. Now, yeah. Hey, welcome to the jungle, Freddy's. We miss you. Good evening. Good evening, Alice. I miss you. I don't know about the guys, but I don't miss you too. I miss you a lot, especially your background. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we were talking, we were discussing um, Mr. Cortez, and I'm asking the guys about if they remember how you say Jojo in French. Do you remember? No. No, Francisco. Yeah, you're the only one that knows French. Yeah. No, I teach. I teach you. I taught you. I taught all of you that word. Yes or no, Francisco? The class. Uh huh. That word. Like what? Do it. Do it again. You can do it. The, the class. Ah, 
Are you were cutting off? You do it again. The the class. Ah, uh, kind of, kind of, yes. If it's if it's if the boy is le chouchou de la classe, le chouchou. and if it's a girl, la chouchou de la classe. Wait, say that. Very good. Uh, okay, it's like this, almost the same in Spanish. El chute de la clase y la chute de la clase. <laughs> well, if you would like to like relate it to that, it's up to you. <laughs> if, if that phrase sounds familiar for you, that's cool. Oh, yeah. 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 You know what? I, I always do that as well because sometimes, for example, it is a brand new word for me. And I and it's the sound is it reminds me something that I already know doesn't matter in which language i'm learning yeah you know i i associate it and that <laughs> always works yes that always works <laughs> you know what i didn't know that in spanish you say it like that way really <laughs> actually where i live <laughs> where you say ah were you ah that I, I was about to ask you that if that is a phrase in the whole el Salvador, no matter which department you are or it's a in phrase general. just uh, in general. Yeah. Uh, oh, you see? In, in the house. <laughs> and in the house, uh, in, in your house, or yeah. with your partners, with your friends. Uh, most, most like in, in my house, right? Ah, your house. <laughs> you have your own, your own terminology. <laughs> that likes to ask about everything, so we're like, they had a chute. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so I learn I learn a new word as well. You see, you you guys are my Spanish teachers. It's amazing. All righty, so like you said, chute, right? Yeah. Chute is like yeah, metido. Yeah, metido. Uh, meke. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I remember something. My mother used to be a, a teacher as well, but uh, the the old generation teacher that like. Uh, stricter one right yeah so i, I remember uh, yeah i remember that she used to uh teach like uh i think four fifth and sixth grade uh, but in a in a national school and uh uh sometimes while i was studying the university because by that time the education ministry didn't provide in the in the program didn't uh yeah yeah didn't provide in the program the um, the English as a subject only for high school but not for middle school so basically we decided just to to put it into the language subject so we will be able like to help the children at least to like uh, get familiar with the language and introduce it and like improve vocabulary and so on right so basically uh, I had to be, I think I had to be at school twice a week. And I remember that one of the kids used to call me Miss, right? Miss Pimby. I remember that. Miss Pimby. Oh, yeah. So she's, he said, Miss, what's going on? Hey. And he's like, start talking to another pa, another pal, right? And he said, hey, be, don't be pan con chumpe. And I was like, pan con chumpe? For me? It was the, the the bread, right? With the with the bird inside, right? It could be like pavo, right? Could be uh, chicken, whatever, with salt and all the vegetables included. So for me, it was a meal, right? Uh, but I asked him, "What does it mean?" Chuta, teacher. Ah, now I know. Yeah. So pan con chumpe is like is the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? And, and, and since then, yeah, since then. I remember that word. So that's why, guys, I think Spanish is one of the hardest, the hardest language to learn, at least for the foreigners, because uh, we do have a variety of uh, meanings. At least here in El Salvador, can you imagine this example? Chute, meke, pan con chumpe, et cetera, right? Or for example, if you would like to talk about a thing like, for example, a mouse, you can say, voladito, chunche, cuenterete, esa cosa, y la persona es malabrada, esa, ¿verdad? 
Y nos dicen la, la palabrita extra, right? Ah, uh, yes, I'll leave it like that way, right? So, you see, so for, for a foreigner, for an, it's really hard to learn Spanish. Imagine the, the Spanish that we speak from, um, from Mexico to the South, Amer South America and so on. That is really hard. Yeah. Yeah, so, oof, but you know what? For a foreigner who has like a grammar, for example, for a British guy, it's easier to learn Spanish than for American. Actually, because we, the British, they already have their own grammar. So they can like, like you do. They like, when they learn something new, they like relate it with something that they already know, especially in the grammar structure. And for them, it is easier to learn. And the pronunciation in Spanish will be a little bit clear. At least not, not like, not with accent. It could be less accent than the Merrick. And of course, that depends on the ability of each person, right? Because each person has the ability to learn foreign languages. Some of them not, but they have another abilities. So that will depend as well. I used to have, um, one of my, the closest friend of my father, he was American, he's American because he's still alive and his wife is British. So both of them, they used to live in Guatemala. And in Guatemala, I think it was uh, Atitlan and Amatitlan, they were the two lakes, right? But I think in Atitlan, it is with the, it is like um, Pialiferico, I think, I think it's there. So at the top of the mountain, there was a Spanish school. And basically, they went there and took the Spanish lesson. After the, the model of that semester, uh, I asked the, the guy, right, who was basically an American, and he, he could only say, hi, hola, adios, como estas? That's it. <laughs> yeah, and, and the girl, and she, was, she was like, uh, hola, como estas? Mi nombre es tal. Eh, que gusto verte. She was like more fluent. So you can, can you imagine? Yeah, so of course she put an extra effort about that, but it was easier for her, yes. So you know what, but languages are really amazing. You can learn a lot of things from the languages. And you know what, I will, I will um, give you like uh, an extra advice. When you're learning a foreign language, in this case is American language or English language, try to um, look for information of every country that speaks language, the language that you're learning. For example, uh, Australia, UK, US, and other sure. countries, uh -huh, and other countries that, uh, Canada, because sometimes there's part of Canada that, that, that only speak English, and there's part of Canada that you can only speak French, but there's a middle page of, uh, that they speak both languages. Mm -hmm. So, and, and try to get familiar, guys, with the culture, with the culture of those countries, with the gastronomy, with the, um, what, with the uh, tourist places, with the, um, the way they communicate with the transportation, etc. Try to get familiar with the culture, because when you're learning a foreign language, it's not just speaking, writing, listening, and blah, 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 blah. It's more than that. If you're learning a foreign language, you also need to learn about the culture, about their music, about their um, arts, about everything that is related to the um, language that you're learning, but at the same time to the countries that speak the language that you're learning right now. So it's really, really important that you get familiar with all of it. In that, in that it will increase not only your knowledge, but at the same time, your vocabulary. For example, let's see if I'm going to double check if I can find some video today and I can send it to you right now. How about, for example, Louisiana? In Louisiana, we do have uh, the most part are the, the black guys, right? Negro, but, uh, but they have their own culture. You cannot imagine mm -hmm. that gastronomy. Ooh, they have a sweet bread that they're like, mm. have you seen guys? Uh, the movie La Princesa Sapo or La Princesa y el Sapo. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you seen that for? I think it's Disney or Pixar. I don't know. You can correct me, Blanky, <laughs> because she's the expert in movies. <laughs> yeah, but you can 
uh, find, <laughs> yeah, Francisco, like, it is true, right, Francisco? You can find uh, in that movie some, what can I say, gastronomy and also musical information about that little um, part of US, which is really amazing. They have a really a bunch of story about the jazz, remember? They, they play jazz a lot. Yeah. Oh, I know, I remember the name of the of this little sweetbreads. Beignets. Beignets. How is it made? How does it taste? Ah, you see? So it's really, really interesting to get familiar with some part of that. So what I'm gonna do, I will search for that information and I will send it to you. Not for you to let me know what had happened and all this stuff, it's just for you to like get a little bit familiar with that and also increase your knowledge and your vocabulary, okay? I will do that. All right, I think everybody's here right now. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, I love you, happy Doris. Yes, I miss you too. And, and I really miss her representation of Mr. Um, Albert Einstein, remember? <laughs> you were amazing that time. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we're here. Guys, let me ask you something. You can help Doris and, and Freddie that they were not here yesterday. What was the topic that we discussed yesterday? Do you remember that? It was a grammar topic and I know that you love it. Uh-huh, volunteer. No. Nope. <laughs> uh-huh. Who said that? May I apologize? Who said that? I, Kenny, hi Kenny. Kenny, I cannot see you because I don't see your beautiful face. Uh, yes, gerunds, gerunds, remember? Very good, you were right about that. Hey, do you remember how we construct gerunds, guys? Hey, that was easy, easy, easy question, come on. Come on. So subject and object? Uh, yes, exactly. Normally we use um, gerunds as the ING form, remember? But mm -hmm. and we normally use it like a regular way as adverbs. But in that case, as Kenny said, we also can use gerunds as an object or as a subject of a sentence. Exactly. Very good. So if we use it as an object, as a subject, sorry, do we put it at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentences? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. At the beginning, very good, Will. Can I have an example, if you don't mind? I, I, I knew you were about to ask me, teacher. Hmm. Yes, you see? Come on. Come on. Okay. Shame on you. <laughs> Commun communicating with employees is necessary to know they're not their, their needs. Oh, my God. So deep. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Excellent. Can I have another example, Fernando, if you don't mind? I teacher. Yes. You already have your salutati on your blood, so go ahead. Uh, uh, I don't know. As speaking, is, is, speaking is an ability uh, of, the, of other all person have. Ah, is speaking is an ability that all person have? Oh, people, the people have, oh, I don't know. All the people have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, you see, speaking. All right, what about, guys, an example of an object? Jaron as an object. It, remember that it ends at the, at the end of the sentence. So it's not the subject anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Me. I Who me? Who me? Me me. me. Amelia. Hi, Amelia. Thank you, Amelia. I was like, what? It's because when you don't have your your camera on for me, it's like, okay, where are these guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Um. Okay. I love climbing. Oh, climbing. Mm hmm. Uh, the fire volcano in Guatemala. Oh, very good. You would love climbing. Yeah. Oh, would be awesome. <laughs> of course. Me too. But I think it's going to be a little bit risky. Yeah. 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 And you need to be That's on shape. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Really? You're are you an adventure girl? Yes. Cool. 
All right, guys, pay attention to your uh, coworkers or okay, to your classmates. Just to give you like a heads up, because maybe I have an Nike idea or I invent again. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, can I have another example? Telmita, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class, my beautiful lady. Thank you. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. I need an example of a sentence of Jeron as an object. Um, uh huh. You can double check on that WhatsApp because I think I sent it to you, right? An example there. Remember that I sent you a screenshot yesterday? So you can double check that. Hey, Jesse, welcome. Madeline as well. Andresito, Alex, Joshi. Jarvin, welcome to the jungle, mm -hmm. sir. And Blanky. Go -hoo. Take your time. No rush, right, guys? No rush. I have Jaron phrases, phrases uh -huh. as object. As an object, yes. Or not. Yes, as an object. Oh. I am. Uh -huh. I, yes. I love visit visiting in Cincinnati City uh -huh. during the during the uh, Holy Week. Okay, I will I be, I would love to visit in. That, okay, it's also not the city, right? Halloween. Yeah. Okay, cool, excellent. Good job. Guys, we're going to play some kind of um, call center today, you know? I'm gonna do a role play right now. You know what? Because we use gerunds when we're asking for something, yes. Imagine you're saying, thank you so much for calling English Corporativo. This is Sylvia, how may I assist you today? Hey, yeah, uh, I would love to be in a, um, a call center agent, but uh, could you please be so kind to let me know which are the requirements? Mm, absolutely, being a call center agent is not as easy as it seems. We have to this, 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 this. You think you, you will be able to see that, to do that? <laughs> okay, guys, let's double check. We can talk about something. Um, of course, when you're calling uh, regarding more information about a specific position, um, here in El Salvador is not that common as in the States. But for example, um, we can talk about an accountant. Accountant. Then we can talk about a uh, front desk clerk. Let's see, what's the other one that I can see? A customer service agent, plumber. Uh, let's see what else, uh, 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 sales, sales rep. Supervisor, all right, okay. Ah, IT, <laughs> IT, <laughs> excuse me. I, I don't have to forget that position as well. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is what I'm gonna do. Imagine you are a customer, okay? And some of you will be, you, one of you will be a customer and the other one will be the agent who answered the call, okay? Uh, and so I just want a simple, a simple dialogue, a simple dialogue. Like if you are calling to ask for information and uh, the agent who will assist you or who answers the phone will be, you need to sound friendly, confident that you know what you're talking about. Okay, I will evaluate that. I will also evaluate vocabulary and fluently. One is going to request information about a position and the other one is going to provide 
that information using gerunds. And you will be able to use both gerunds as a subject and gerunds as an object. Okay? <laughs> Just like, what? Like the example that I'm giving you. Yeah. You can also name any, any company name. You can say, thank you so much for calling uh, Alcaldia, uh, Municipality, San Salvador. This is like uh, Andres. How may I assist you today? For example, right? Okay. Uh huh. But but wait a minute. I'm going to let you know something. Okay. Uh, let's see. You can choose, guys, if you want to use the customer service agent information the plumber information, the sales rep, the supervisor, and the IT. You can pick one of them, okay? You don't have to talk about all of them. No, don't worry about that. But I'm going to assign right now some information. Okay, Fernando, if you are with somebody else, I'm going to put you, I'm, I'm about to do like a, like a pair so you can work together. I want you to pick IT. So you are going to be the agent. Okay, you're gonna be the agent. Okay. And the and your classmate who's going to contact you, they'll be the customer who is requesting information. Why are you gonna be the agent? Because you are an IT. Okay. So you know that. Okay. Uh Doris, you're an accountant, right? Yes. Okay. So the person who's going to work with that, you're going to talk about an accountant position but you're going to be the sales rep. So that means that you're going to be the one who provide that information. And somebody else, we're going to, of course, ask you about that. It's, okay, the other partner will be the customer. Okay, thank you, very good. Uh, Willian, do you also do a, um, a, 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 a accountant or no? Uh, are you an accountant? No, really. Customer service? I know, but uh huh. What is exactly what you do? Administrative assistant. What? Administrative assistant. Ah, I said, oh, okay. Administrative assistant. Okay, I already put it there. <laughs> so you're gonna be the agent. Okay, cool. Uh, who's the sales rep here? Quienes ventas? I think it's Erwin and Talmita, right? Or no? Two. Two, Blanquita. Thelma, Erwin, and me, I think. Yes. Ah. yes. Okay. All right, cool. So in this case, I think Erwin and Blanqui, you're going to work together. But let's see. Uh, Blanqui, you're going to be the agent. And Erwin, you're going to be basically um, the customer. And Yoshi, uh, you work in a call center, I know that. So you're going to work with Jesse. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Freddy's. Mr. Freddy's. He's absent. He's absent, of course not, because he just <laughs> recently answered. So, and uh, let's see, you, 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 you work as a plumber, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna be the agent who provided that information. And I think you're going to work with, um, with Andresito. I know, oh, yes, Andresito, yes. Okay, so I already assigned um, each of you right now. So basically guys, the rest, you can pick a different as an area. It's, it's not gonna be any problem for me. So oh, let's see I, what. Can I ask questions? No, go ahead. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Um, my um, classmates can ask me questions. So. Yes, basically you're going to answer a question, mm -hmm. uh, the phone or whatever, right? And uh, they're going to ask about the plumber position, and you gotta answer them using um gerund as a subject or as an object. Depends on the question they formulated to you. Is it clear? Yeah, like water? 
Like coffee. Like coffee. Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't worry, and Rosita will explain it to you. All righty. Let's see. Okay, just put it ready. Mm -hmm. Fernando, I didn't let you know who you're going to work with, or did I? No. All right. Okay. Uh, so in this case, you're going to work with uh, uh -huh, with Kenya. Let's see. Um, Blanky, you're going to work with Erwin, I said, right? That's right. All right. In our case, who is going to be the agent? Uh, who? Yes. Who? I mean, I mean, who's talking? Sorry, I cannot see you right now. Uh, <laughs> Kenya. Who? Telma? No? Kenya. Ah, Kenny. Can you double check? Kenny, you're going to be the agent. Ay. Shame on you, right? <laughs> okay. It's because you have experience. That's the reason why. Okay. Yeah, show your experience. Show your customer service skills. All righty. Doris, I did, I, I, did I let you know who you're going to work with? No. No, okay. You're going to work with um, Glenda. Let's see. Delmita, you're going to work with who? I didn't say that, right? With Blanca? No. No, 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 no. Erwin is going to work with Blanca. You're going to work with Madeline. Let's see. Uh, with, with Madeline? Yes, with Madeline. Okay. Okay, Jesse is going to work with Joshi. We're good about that. Francisco, you're going to work with uh, Jarvin. Let's see who else. And uh, Josuecito is going to work with William. And Amelia. All right. Cool. All right, guys. You can accept the invitation if you don't mind. I'll, I will give you 10 minutes to do that. That's enough. Amelia, you need to like get in. All right, there you go. Alexander, also you need to get in. There you go. Let's see what we have here. Okay, Ke Kenny. Hello. Hello. No, don't worry, Kenny. You're working with Fernando, right? Yes. No. So Fernando is going to do the IT. He's an IT. So don't worry. I'm going to leave you alone today. You're not going to be the agent. He's going to be the agent. Oh. And you're going to be the customer who's calling to ask you for more information about the requirement of, or how it is it's like being, being an IT agent. So please. If you, if you have bad feelings for him, this is the time. This is the time when you like explode and send a bunch of questions to him, okay? Oh, I, I will resolve all the doubts of, of Yeah, her. for example, yes, for example, example. Let's, let, let me help, let me, let me do the role play with Kenya. All right, ring, like ring, 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 imagine ring. Uh, Good afternoon. Thank you so much for your choosing in Glass Corporative. This is Sylvia. How may I help you today? Uh, hello. Um, I have problems with my computer. I don't know what, what I have to do. No, no, no. You have to like ask for what it's like being a, an IT. Okay. You would like to apply for that, for that uh, a position. Oh, okay. Second is an audio. Ring. Thank you so much for calling in Glass Corporative. This is Sylvia. How can I help you today? Hello, this is Kenya. I recently uh, saw a publication in Facebook about an offer for your company. I would like to know 
what are the expectations for the position and how is being a high team? Yay, Kenya, it's nice to talk to you. Of course, I will be more than glad to give you a hand and answer any question that you might have regarding the position that you're looking for. Okay, so if I understood you correctly, you just saw the information and the advertisement about our new office position for IT. Is that right? Am I yes. understood correctly? Okay, cool. All right, so being an IT, you know, some of the people say think like it's bored or you have to have like a, a lot of computer knowledge. But no, of course, even though you do not have it, we can provide it to you and we'll give you all the skills and all the knowledge that you need so you can become a really expert IT agent. Isn't it amazing? Okay, and yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah and like that, Fernando, like you see the conversation, you see how it revolves? Uh -huh. So I know that you will be able to do it. Of course, you don't have to do exactly the same way. First of all, because we have more like speedness and Kenya and I had work in a, real, in a customer service department because we have been a call center agents. So we have a different type of skills that maybe you don't because you have not worked in that environment. However, you will be able to develop. That's what I'm doing, this kind of exercises. Okay, so... So do the best that you can. Doesn't have to be like 30 minutes call, okay? Sometimes we get one hour call, right, Kenya? <laughs> but it's not, that is not the case in this case. Do your best, okay? Perfect. I know you can do it. Yeah, way to go, sir, way to go. Let's double check with the other guys. I'll be right back. Any money, how about a different city? Okay. Do you work? Uh... On a private or public company? Private. That's a private company. Okay. Uh, can you install, uh, how to say, pump, pumps, right? Electric pumps? Pumps. Uh -huh. Actually, no, that's, that's more. Um, uh -huh. You have selected we... what? Customer service agent, right? Uh, yes. In this case, we are talking about customer service. We uh, are taking your idea that we are going, uh, she's going to apply for a job position and I will provide some benefits using sharing phrasing plus we have we, should, we are going to yes experience so the, skills uh-huh the tone of voice is really important so even though you're like but but if you're like and you don't want to to help the customer you can show that in your tone of voice so it's mm -hmm. really really yeah joshi can let you know that for her experience your yeah. tone of voice is really important doesn't uh, matter yeah. what kind of day you have if you smile yes you, it will show you, it. <laughs> or if you are, if you smile, it will show in the, in the, in the way you answer the form. Mm -hmm. All righty. So we have one more minute and then we come back. Okay. Really? Yes. Really fast. <laughs> yeah. But it, you, I, you don't have to have like, sometimes maybe Yoshi has like a 30 of one hour call. Yes. Because that happens in a call center. You cannot imagine, but it doesn't yeah, yeah, have yeah. to be like that. It's just okay. really easy, easy peasy. Like for example, Hey, this is Jesse. And I saw an advertisement on your website that you, that you have an open position for a customer service agent. And I just want to know how I can apply for it. For example. Okay. <laughs> so let's move on. And Joshi will be saying, thank you so much for calling Inglés Corporativo, or you can say American Airlines, and uh, this is Joshi. How can I assist you today? Hey, Joshi, this is Jesse. Hey, Jesse, it's nice to talk to you before. Yeah, how may I assist you? I'd be glad to give you a hand. Can I provide uh -huh. at least three what? minutes more, please? Yeah, uh, organize Okay, okay, school. I'm going to be a nice girl. Okay, <laughs> continue. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me double check the other guys, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You're more than welcome. All righty, let me double check the other guys really quickly. What do we have? Educación. Uh huh. How is it going? Como van? Hello. Hello. We, we are talking about the experience in the accounting area. Uh huh. Uh, there is a. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Eh, <coughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Don't worry. Uh -huh. eh, the, basically, is speaking about the uh, <coughs> employee for accounting. Uh -huh, for an accounting. <laughs> All righty, very good, yes. excellent. Getting a, a the, the, assistant. Uh -huh. Yeah, Doris, Doris is interview, inter, interviewing, in, interviewing me. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's good, but yeah, very good. As long as you use the gerunds, that for me is fine. Okay. Uh, okay. I will give you like five more minutes, okay? Okay. okay, cool. Let me double check the other guys. Let's see who I have to visit. Ah, yes. Now I knew who I have to visit. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Always we we fully with the t-shirt together. Uh -huh. Almost. Almost I catch you speaking in Spanish, right? No, well, we were well, no, really... no, we were not come on. No, we were reading well, the, the we message in the group. Uh -huh. ah, the message in the group. Yes, there was a book. Yeah. What's up from Clarissa Gaviria? Clarissa Gaviria, yeah. Uh -huh, what happened? And this is for the when we have to fall in the, the survey. The survey. The survey, yeah. But, the, this, survey. but yeah. the survey is going to be at the end of this week, which is going to be Friday. Yes, and we're going to fall out together or not? Yes, but of course, I'm, uh, in th that data, I will like let you know how you're going to do it, okay? So don't worry about that. Oh. Don't yes, worry. Yes. Oh, okay. uh -huh. okay. yes, you're like, no, this don't worry. Out. Don't worry about it. But let's go back to business. Did you already play a practice or no? We read the conversation in the manual. Because no, I don't want the manual. I don't want the manual. Ah, okay. Because we didn't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we are done. So we... do. <laughs> That's why I'm so, here. So this is the reason why we was practice the conversation. Okay, but at least it's good that mm -hmm. you were practicing something. Basically, this is what I want, Irving. Uh, I, I sent to the chat, the Zoom chat, remember? I gave like some examples about a uh, specific job positions, right? Uh, like um, plumber, accountant, customer service, supervisor, etc. cetera. So pre let's pretend that on your um, company website, there is an open position for a supervisor. And Francisco is calling you, requesting more information about that position. Oh, so in this you. case, you, since you this is your role, right? Your real role in your real life. And you're going to be the one who answers the call and answer the question that Francisco has. For example, using gerunds. Using gerunds. For example, you can say, ring, ring. Oh, good afternoon. Thank you. This is Jarvin. Thank you so much for choosing English Corporativo. How may I assist you today? Hey, Jarvin, this is Francisco. Hey, Francisco, how is it doing? Pretty good. What about you? Like that. Okay. You said, oh, hey, tell me, how may I assist you? Hey, you know, hey, dude, I, I saw an advertisement on your website that you have an, an open position for supervisor. And I just want to know uh, if you can provide more information. How, how can I apply for that? Hey, you're calling the right department. I'll be more than glad to give you a hand. You know what, uh, Francisco? Being a supervisor, mm -hmm. and you said being, you see, you're using already mm -hmm. the gerund. Being a supervisor, mm -hmm. la, 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 and you saw, right? You see? You see how you can do it? It doesn't have to be like um, a huge conversation or taking like 15 or 10 minutes or 30 minutes. No, it has to be a small conversation. As okay. long as you use the gerunds, I'm fine with that. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. You, now, do you understand what I'm doing, talking about? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's eight fifty-one. I will give you until nine, and at nine, everybody will come back. Okay. 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 Cool. And you're going to be Jervin, the the agent, and Francisco is going to be the customer. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Francisco, call me. Okay. Um, ring, 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 <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> hello, thank you for calling Miranda Service. How can I help you today? Hey, hello, Harvin. How are you? Everything is fine. What about you? Uh, fine, my friends. I was, I was seeing in the, 
billboard that uh, the company is to promote or sorry offer a new position for a sup super supervisor 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 is offering remember ing is offer is offering yes we already have two positions for a new supervisor what do you want to know about it i would like to know uh, more information about this new position because i would like to um, ascend no um, postular how do you say sorry i don't know maybe you apply apply okay. you want I to would, apply? i would like to i would like to apply for this new position okay right now we are creating some some workplaces for the new employees that he have to work for for us and and uh, good working environment uh-huh how's it going girls mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. scenario did you choose what did you pick um we are searching a sales representative sales rep okay for selling a close uh <laughs> That the last needs. season. <laughs> ah, no, you don't have to complicate your life at all. Don't worry about that. No, I just want something simple. For example, uh, I think, uh, tell me that you have experience in sales, right? Or Madeline, who has experience in sales? Uh, no, I don't, I don't have. <laughs> what about tell me that do you have experience in sales? Yeah. ¿Tienes experiencia en ventas? No. 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 Okay, don't Yo worry. Soy contador. <laughs> ah, ok. So don't, so, no, entonces hagamos otra cosa. Quítate de la mente, Sos. Necesito que eh, eh, choose a job position that you're familiar with. ¿Sí? No, no ocupes sales rep. Ocupa accountant. Accountant. But. Ajá. Uh -huh. But what? We have a, 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 a we have an idea. Uh -huh. In about sales representative. Ah, okay. So so you want to still you want to use sales rep? Really, we, we okay. are working about this. Ah, okay, okay. So that's okay. If you already have selected, that's amazing. Don't worry. But all that I want, for example, is that you use you use gerunds as a subject as an object, and one of you will be the sales rep. Or the, or the agent who answered the phone. And the other one is going to be the customer who is calling to get more information about the requirements to apply for the sales position. That's what I want. For example, um, tell me that. You are the one who's, who has the experience, right? And you, and you receive the call, ring, ring, right? Thank you so much for choosing in class corporativo. This is Telma. How may I assist you today? Hey, Telma. Nice to meet you. This is Madeline. Hey, Madeline. How's it doing? Pretty good. Thank you so much. What about you? Oh, that's, okay. I'm pretty fine. Look, I'm calling because I just want, I just saw an advertisement on your website about sales position and I want to know more information about it. Can you provide it to me? Of course. You're calling the right department. Being a sales rep is an amazing experience that you cannot imagine. You see? And you're, you're going like that way. You see like that? That's what I need. You can okay. invent. Don't worry. Yes. Uh, I, yeah, but I, I don't, it doesn't have to be like, like 30 minutes call or 10 minutes call. No, it could be shorter. As long as you use the gerunds, I'm fine with that. Okay? Okay. You can okay. do it. I know you can do it. We're going to come back together at night. At nine, okay? okay. At nine, we're going to come back. So continue working. You're doing fine, and I know you will do so great. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, okay. okay. And then, for 
pretty girls. Um, okay, we have the same, the same idea, the self-represented. Ajá, ok. Mm, idea en español. <laughs> a, a alguien, Madeline, um, me llama y yo estoy en Tecoloco. Uh -huh. And, y Madeline me llama y me dice, hello, my name is Madeline and I need you to help. Ah, oh, okay, okay, this is Thelma. Uh, uh, you are calling uh, the colloquial at com. What can I help you? Uh, okay, I have some problems. Uh, I need a representative, uh, sales representative for my 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 factory. Uh, uh, I'm going to look in. I'm going to look okay, for. I'm going to, I'm going okay, to okay. look for uh, uh, someone for my company. Uh -huh. Haven't you profile? What what profile do you need? Uh, someone that uh, will be interested in selling our clothes, knowing fashion, uh, knowing fashion, could be a good profile, uh, having a good personal presentation, and it's important for us. Uh, also, we are looking for someone, ah, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, how was the experience? Uh-huh. Tell me guys, did you love Great. it or did you hate me? Great. Don't answer, please. <laughs> Don't we answer. Uh, really? Uh, uh, uh. Well, I don't know. I have my doubts. And <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. Okay, tell me, how was the experience? Was it good? Yeah? Okay, don't worry. You can do it. I know you can do it, guys. Who's going to be the first victim? Sorry. <laughs> the first volunteer. First volunteer. For the scenario, we oui, teacher you, yeah, my beautiful yes, ladies. Yes. Okay, alrighty. So I have yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come Excuse on. me, but please let me finish, Yoshi. I just excuse me. No, no, no. Okay. Los primeros somos los perjudicados. Como yeah, we well, have the ladies, right? <laughs> Joshi and Jesse. Okay, so uh, I think you have chosen customer service agent, is that right? Yes. Okay, so I want both of you to turn on your cameras, please. Okay. okay. Mm. I was having dinner. Ah, <laughs> okay, no, yeah, just, just for this intervention and then you can put it back. Uh, oh, don't, don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> hey, huh? bon appetit. Enjoyed it. Gracias. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Uh, Gracias en French. Ah, ah, merci. Ah, merci. Merci. Okay. Well, très bien. Excellent. Good job. All right. So, customer service agent position in scenario number one. Action. Ring, ring. Good morning. Thank you for calling my company. This is Jocelyn. How can I help you today? Hi, my name is Jessica Cortez and I'm interested in a tech support position. And I need more information about it because I saw in a social media. Hi, Jessica. Oh, great. 
Yes, as you mentioned before, we are looking for technical support representative. Let me tell you some of the qualities that we are looking for. First of all, let me tell you, Jessica, that being a technical support uh, requests experience. Uh, also, a technical support representative must be good working under pressure. And finally, a technical support representative would like to support, would like supporting others. Or you have this... right. Yes, sorry. Sorry for interrupting me. Continue. No, thank you. Thank you for all the information. So I don't know if you have more information about it. Yes, if you have these qualities, you can send our resume data to great companies at gmail.com. You can send our resume and we, can, we will call you back. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much for all information. And I'm going to send my CV in this moment. Thank you for attending. Oh, perfect. Do you have any other question that I can help you? No, just thank you for, for all information. Thank you so much for calling White Company Miss. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day. Thank you. The same. Bye. Bye. That was really good. Excellent, guys. Good job. Oh my God. I was like transporting, you know, to the customer service <laughs> engine. Very good. Good job. Good, good skills. Hey, what do you think about your classmate, guys? Is it good, right? I'm so happy. Give them an applause. It's amazing. Good job. Very good. Who's next speaking? Continue eating, Yoshi. Don't worry. Okay. Who's next speaking? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Freddy's, who do you work with? Why me? Yes, because you know what? You were the first one that, that I saw the, the little but anime thing. I wasn't thing. here yesterday. No, but, but, but of course you can try. You well, can do your out best. of context. Out of context. Nah, 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 nah. You can do your yeah. best. Don't worry about it. Who's going to be the agent? You of your or your classmate? Oh, you, right? Of course. Or would you like some time? And then I uh, we can pick somebody else and then it's going to be your turn? Yeah, pick someone else. Okay, cool. Okay, don't worry. I'll okay, be the last one. You'll be the last one. Okay, cool. Don't worry about that. I, I remember that you work with Andres, right? Yes. Okay, okay, cool. Don't worry. Next speak team. Okay, Fernando. <laughs> Fernando and Kenny. All okay. Right. Ash, uh, would you like me to help you with the ring ring or you do it? Uh, she she can be the ring ring. Cool. Kenny? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm zipped. Go ahead. <laughs> but that ring ring, I think is the balling is really low. Yes. You need to put it a little bit higher. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> ring, ring, like that. Okay, uh, hi, my name is Fernando and I am IT agent support. How can I help you? Hi, this is Kenya. I'm calling you because I saw a publication in Facebook about a position that your company are offering. I would like to know how is being uh, IT. Well, uh, as IT uh, agent, you you have a lot of duties and responsibilities, like uh, I'm sorry, coming support requests, uh, uh, notifies uh, issues to to uh, to scaling for support, to scale for support, and you, for example, uh, you have to perform your your tasks every day efficiently and accurate uh, with the customers. Oh, great. And how many areas are in those positions? How many areas? Yes. Well, uh, you, can, you can work as a help desk, desk support, or a specific support like a IT service desk engineer, or to you do your work excellent, you will uh, promote to a team lead of IT service desk. And do, um, do I need experience or a specific grade for this position? Uh, if you don't have experience, we will uh, train you 
as an internship if you want, but if you have experience, uh, you have to to have the different competi com competencies like uh, uh, great attention, uh, following instruction, great writing and communication skill. The, the most important thing is knowledge of uh, IT systems. And it's prefer preferable uh, if you have a high school diploma or something like that. Oh, great. That's really helpful. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you to you for calling. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Very good. Good try. Excellent. Fernando, you were like <laughs> sweating like that, right? Like a pig because you don't have a customer service experience, but we're good. Excellent uh, job. Uh, my job is different. I, I, know. I, I don't speak directly with the customers. Mm -hmm. I, maybe the, the most the most near of uh, interacting with the customer is uh, on email or mm -hmm. something like that. <laughs> yeah, and it's different when you email to the customer or when you talk to them, right? Yes. Like, yes. Do you, do you, hey, how, how was it? Do you like it? Yes, but I prefer to to be uh -huh. I know. In, the, in the in background. In the yeah. background. Yes. But, but you don't know. So you need to be prepared for everything. Yes, if, if, the, uh -huh. the, if I have to, to do that for working, I you it, have to. It, it's not a problem for me, but uh -huh. I prefer to, to, to be <laughs> a, a, a background. Okay, don't worry, you can release. I will leave you in peace right now. <laughs> Very good job, excellent. Good job. I'm feeling so proud of you guys. Very good. Okay, who else? Blanky, I think you need to, you have worked with Erwin, right? Blanky, Blanky. Here. Yes, I know you're there here, Erwin, but Blanky, where is Blanky? Oops, I, don't know. I think she just stood up and went to get a cup of coffee. Yeah, ah, she has a problem, she said. She has a problem, I think, with the internet. So don't worry, I'm going to help ah, yeah. her. Okay, uh, no we're problem. going to wait for her. Okay, but in the meantime, no problem, we'll let her know. No problem. Let me ask somebody else. Uh, William, who do you work with? I shine new with teacher. Yes. Mm, Don't Jose. look at me with that face. <laughs> with who? Jose and Melanie. Jose and Melanie. All right, cool. Oh, Melanie. Okay, you're the agent, right? But teacher, we we worked uh, in a different way. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know if you understand, but don't worry. Please. Do your best. Of course, don't okay. worry. Pretend that I'm not here. Jose, are you ready? And Melanie? Amelia. Amelia. <laughs> don't worry. Oh. It, it, for you, <laughs> she has a name. Melanie face. Her name <laughs> is Amelia, but she will understand and she will say, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Amelia, worry. okay. Okay, uh, thank you so much for calling to Proyecto y Servicio. How can I help you? Hello, good afternoon. I mean, I get a question in regarding to my classic card. I don't know if you can help me uh, because I, I'd be very upset if my classic card is not here in, my, in the country or in my company. Okay, may I have the reference number or where kind of product it is? Yes, of course. One nine four two oh two two. Okay, please hold on a second. I will ask to my for to my supervisor for information. The Urna. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Jose. <clears throat> I like to know about the classic car color blue. The client needs to know the delivery times. The supervisor is gone. <laughs> Maybe. Don't worry, don't worry. So, you know what? Sometimes they do not answer as faster as we want. So we, we need to like hold for a moment. But you, in the meantime, you can go back to the customer 
and said that you're ready to formulate a question to the supervisor, but you're still waiting for the response, okay? So you need to like do like a feedback, okay? Go back to the customer. Okay, thanks for asking. Uh, Thank thanks for, for waiting. Me. Um, I'm asking for a, for information to my supervisor. It is getting a, a, a minute. Um, okay, I can wait. No problem. I need my car here. <laughs> and I'm still waiting for the supervisor answer. Don't worry about that. You can tag somebody else. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> he has not. He hasn't responded, right? Like my mm -hmm. supervisor is in my job. <laughs> uh -huh. That don't worry. That you're showing the real situation of what we yeah. face, right, Kenny? Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. Amelia, sorry. <laughs> hey, no, we're vicious, Kenny. Come on, <laughs> but you gotta say yes. Um, okay, let's pretend that the supervisor already answered. Would you like me to help with the supervisor? I'm being a supervisor. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Total. Thank you so much. Hey. Um. Thank you, Willing. Yes, I already received the information. If I understood you correctly, the client is uh, calling regarding her blue car, right? That she's waiting for. Is that right? Yeah. She wants to know uh, uh what a specific time she will have it uh with her. Is that is that your question? Yeah. That's your question. Okay. The client needs to know about the delivery times. Yeah. Did she ask it to be delivered today? If it's for today, is that right? I don't know. I need to know. Could you please be so kind to uh, to ask? Uh, I think it's under Amelia Flamenco. If she asked it yeah. for today, can you please go back to the customer and ask that information for me, if you don't mind? I'll be waiting for you. Jerry, I'm sorry, I can hear you. Whoops, can you hear <laughs> me? Yes. It is, it is a noise here, I'm sorry. Uh, no 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 i was asking you because i just want to know if you can go back to to the customer and yeah. ask her if the car that she's uh calling in regard for she's waiting it to have it today ah okay okay can you please go back to the customer and ask that question to her okay vuelve al customer y pregúntale um, Amelia, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, I want to know if the if the delivery is uh, for today. Yes, I was expecting that my classic car I uh, need to be today in my company because I need to uh, I need to sell within my important uh, important client. Okay, thanks. Hold on, hold on a second, please. Yes, no problem. Hello. Uh, yes, yes. The, the client said uh, yes. The, the delivery is for today. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, when you were talking with the client, I was double checking with the code that you provided to me. Yes, definitely. We already have it ready. That car for her. Uh, according to our driver, it's on its way. You can. She can expect to receive it in um, fifty minutes. No longer than that. Or because of the traffic, but she can expect to receive it no longer than in between thirty and fifty minutes. So um, when the driver, it will be next to her, he, he will give her a call. So you can also, um, so she can also be aware that she will have the, her car as soon as possible. <clears throat> Could you please be so kind to confirm for, for us what is her, the best phone number to reach her at, by any chance? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go back to the customer and ask what is the best phone number to reach her at. Okay. Amelia, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Okay, uh, may I have your phone number? Yes, no problem. The number is seven seven a nine a a two. 22. Okay, wait a second, please. Hello, Mr. Yes, sir. Uh, the phone number is 
All righty, so you said 778-988-222. Is that right? Yes. Okay, sure. I will forward that information to the driver so that he can contact her directly. So just let her know that just please uh, keep an eye on her phone number because she will receive the confirmation or the contact from the driver when, hears, uh, when he will be near her location. Ask her if there's anything else that we can assist her by any chance. And we'll be glad to give her a hand. Okay. Uh, Miss Amelia, um, is there anything else? Uh, how can I help? Um, could you provide me the, the date and the hour that the car is coming? Okay, uh, the delivery will be in around five, 50 minutes and the delivery will call you. Okay, okay, wow. For any, this information, you are, com uh, you are, you get all my expectation completed. So thank you so much. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Very good. It was not easy, right? <laughs> no, yeah. it was really yeah. difficult. Very good, but you did an excellent job. Just remember to do a, a good closing. Thank you so much for calling, blah, 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 blah. My name was William, and it was a pleasure to assist you. You have a lovely afternoon and take care. Bye bye. Okay. Like that. Okay. But I know, I know it was really good. Good job. I, I know it's not easy, right? No, it's thank you. It's not easy, of course, but you're improving your speaking. So that's amazing. Very good job. Okay. So let's see. Blanky. Did you solve your problem? Uh, 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 uh. No, not really, I think, I think so. Jarvin, it's your time. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Go ahead. Francisco, are you ready? Yes, I think. <laughs> Only. Okay, ring, ring. Okay. Hello, my name is Harvey Miranda. Thank you for calling Miranda's factory. How can I help you today? Hey, hello, Harvey. How are you, my friend? Everything is fine. What about you? Good. Hey, Harvey. I have heard that you are offering a, <laughs> a new position in, in your company. Yes, that's right, Francisco. We were talking about you with my coworkers, and you are a good option for, for us. And yes, right now we have two new positions as a supervisor. Ah, okay. Uh, could you give me please more information about the new position? Okay, the quality that I we are looking for are motivating person to do the best work working under pressure and you have to enjoy working on a different schedule. Do you okay. are agree with that? Yeah, however, I have a, um, I have several questions more. Okay, Can you tell help me. me please? Tell me. Uh, the first, what happened with the with the salary? Oh, of course, we your have salary. a new offer. Yes, your salary will be increased, and you have motivated for that. You will be motivated for that. Sound good. Do you have any question? Uh, the last. Uh, sorry for us. This I know that is a little crazy question. However. I need to do this question. Okay, do it. Uh, will be will be be will be, sorry. Will I be working under pressure? Yes, of course, man. This is one quality that I do, you have to have. Under pressure, you have to like you. Sorry, sorry. You will be good working under pressure. Okay, I I would like to try. However, you you are you need uh, 
Sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah. Everything? Okay, Francisco. What's a pleasure to be with you? Uh, I think you have some problem with your connection. And that's all, teacher. Okay, very you, good. Please. No, yes, very good, guys. I know it was not easy, but yeah, excellent. Good job. Very good. You're doing really good. Let's let's see who, who else. Uh, Blanky, are you already there? I, uh -huh, I think Blanky has a problem with the internet. I know, Erwin, that you Teacher. would like to participate. Okay, I can give you a loan, no problem. What? I can give you a loan. I can do it alone. Uh, okay. No problem. No yeah. Okay, okay. You know my interest. <clears throat> do you listen? Go okay. ahead. Uh, one person had a problem with the, when the platform mm -hmm. tried, to, tried to buy some jeans, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, the person, the account, the customer tried to communicate but the computer, the platform, the software uh, talk about the customer, mm -hmm. send the message with the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the WhatsApp, the information will go uh, at the at the company, and the company has the agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And I am the agent, and okay. I have the software, and I oops, one person had a problem. I will help. <laughs> Okay, this is easy. Okay, I try, I try to do it alone. Okay, okay cool. Uh, oh, what? Uh, you, 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 know, okay. Did you want to make a purchase in our store? We see that you ask us uh, to communicate with me person by WhatsApp. We had a great offer for three jeans by the price of two. We, we see that you have chosen it. But the problem that you have with the purchase, your credit card has a choice, choose the right amount. You have a different address. Is it the problem? Is this the problem? Okay. The problem is the different address. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that is, that's all. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Uh, <laughs> I try to do it so fast. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I understand. It was it was hard, it, it, especially because you yeah, gotta do it alone. But great job. Good job, good job. I'm so happy. Okay. Um Doris, what about you? I'm ready, I think. <laughs> You're ready with who? With Melon? I don't know. Glenda. No, no. Glenda. Glenda, okay, Glendy. Go ahead. Where is Glenda? I'm Glenda? here. Okay, you you are the customer, right? Yeah, it's uh, an uh, interview for a ah, position. Okay, ring, uh -huh. ring. No. Or oh, face, face to face. Ah, face, face to face. Okay, go ahead. The SNR is all yours. Go ahead. Okay. Good morning, Angle. Glenda. I heard you resume and tell me what do you like work with us? Uh, good evening, Doris. It's nice to meet you. Uh, we'll be in this meet. And I I really work, I really want to work with you because I know the company is very, very important. And I, I think I have all the Capacities, capacities. I don't know. Yes, we we uh, have a uh, um, we have a, a, a program for capacities uh, the employees in different areas. In the position is a counting assistant. Uh, do you have knowledge in law tax? Yes. And uh, the first, uh, I have a available for for the 
capacit the capacitations, and I have experienced how a coding assistant for um, 10 years. Mm -hmm. And my, my experience has been in tax, in taxes. What is your salary aspiration? And my salary aspiration is more than $1,000. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions for, for the company? No, no, thank you. Okay. Uh, and the com uh, I tell you the company is a, a small, a small company. Is a just only a five co-workers in the company, but the uh, uh, this. The inspiration is very important because in, in the position no no uh, is a, uh, about the calculation the law tax and no no is more important the concentration the, is more important the uh, knows the uh, Excel? Do you know Excel? Yes. Uh, in terms of uh, basic or advanced? Advanced. Okay. Okay. Well, and I... Uh, I have a, a, a meeting with my uh, my boss, and when I uh, have a decision, you uh, we ask uh, call you. Okay, thank you. I will expect you with with your call. Thank you for your busy day. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Good try. Good try. I know it's not it's, it's hard, right? But you're yeah. doing your best and very good. Yeah. Excellent job. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And the last big team, sorry. <laughs> the last participant. Freddy, are you ready? I think so. I think so. I already gave you time. Come on, with Andresito. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. The we'll scenario is all time. yours. Of course. Okay. Who's going to do the ring ring? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for calling to Cortez um, Supplies and, and um, oh man, what was the other? <laughs> you can do it one more time as an area number two yeah. if you want. Okay. Okay, as an area number two, action. Hello, thank you for calling to Cortez Supplies and Service. How can I help you? Hello, this, uh, my name is Andres Valdivieso. I'm calling to request a uh, installation in my house. I need a, a water pump. Can you do that kind of job? Yeah, I could help you on that. Can you give, uh, can you give me your phone number for I could text you in WhatsApp for we could get in contact and especially I need it for, for you could send me the, your actual, um, oh, oh, your actual location where you're located at where I could see the, where I need to go and give you exactly what, um, what you need to, what actually what you need and why, and why you, what do you have in order to, to work on? Okay, my phone number is seven five four two one four six seven. Okay, I, need, you, I will uh, send you. I will send you a message for you to send me your vacation. Okay, because I need I need the pump as soon as possible. Can you can you?
come to my house this week? Yeah, uh, I sent you already a message. Can you send me your vacation? Okay. I, re I already sent my my vacation. Oh, I see you. I see you live close to the border to the Poi. Yes, it's, okay. it's very far from your yeah, company. Yeah, that would be a, an extra an extra fee because um because actually I'm going from Nakahutla to all the way over there. It's like around two hundred kilometers. So are you okay with that? Uh, how much do you do you how much cost extra that? Will be a, it will be actually I'll give you a discount it will be thirty dollars extra. Oh, it's okay. Okay, good. Okay. I'll be there. And, um, okay. What, what time are you uh, actually available to? Uh, I don't have problems with with the time at any time. Why? Why are you actually willing to buy uh, what kind of water pump? I have a uh, one HP power pump. Ah, you already have it with you. You just want me to install it. Yes, only the installation. I have the pipes, the pump. Oh, that would be the... there for me. Okay. Um, I have another question for you. Uh, what kind of electricity you have? Um, is it two twenty or one twenty voltage? I have. I have two twenty. Two twenty. Oh, okay. Okay, I will I will get all my equipment and I'll be there like around 10 in the morning. Okay. Thanks for your help. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay. You're welcome. Hello. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. Very good job, guys. All right. Very good. You feel comfortable, right? It's easy when you're talking about something that you already know. Right? Very yeah. good. Very good. Excellent. Good job. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all of you. You have done a really nice job. Of course, this is still some area that we need to improve. Like, of course, it's part of the process. Some like um, words that we can just use it, like do not repeat it. But you know what? For that situations, uh, we have a word that it's, they call in English linking words. Have you, have you heard that before? Linking words? Woof, there's a bunch of them. We can use it at the beginning, we can use it yeah. in the middle, and we can use it at the end, right? Okay. You know what? That linking words most of the times are like an adverse that we use, for example, um, with subordinate clauses, for example, subordinate clauses is what is, is a clause is another way to say a sentence like, like that and subordinate is something is a sentence that depends the meaning from a principal sentence okay so it's a second sentence that that the sentence is alone doesn't mean anything it needs extra information so we can have an idea what you're talking about that is a subordinate um Clause in this case. Have you guys, for example, I'm going to send you some information right now. Have you already used or heard or saw this adverse of linking words? Let's see. I'm, I'm going to put you right now something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I send you to the WhatsApp right now. I know, but I sent it just to Blanky. Come on. No. No, no, no. I'm not partial, guys. It's going to be for everybody. Teacher, usted, no, everybody that. Okay, I sent it to you already. So this the Zoom chat. Do you have it? Do you have it with you? Yeah. Now, can you see it, guys? Okay. Yeah. Have you already used although, even though, and while? Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you heard about that? Do you know what that means? Yes. Yeah, so some some of the. Uh huh. For example, no. even even. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Although, even though, and while. 
all of them we call um, adverse of conscience. And also those adverbs we use it to, to do like a contrast. And what else? Um, what I can say, you know what? They have like similarity mean, but they have a big difference as well. So don't worry, Tagmita. I know. <laughs> I know you were like, aha, uh -huh, teacher. Mm, you know what? The linking words are really useful because will help us not only to give like um, more significance or meaning of what we're saying, but at the same time, do not repeat the same words one or twice. And also, um, it would be like having more structure in our sentences. For example, do you remember what is the meaning of although in Spanish? Although? Although? No? I no? think it's mm -hmm. aunque. Okay, very good. Aunque. Yes. Although. What about even though? It's even though it's separately. Even though. What Inclusive. does it mean? Uh -uh. No. I don't know. What? Sin embargo. Sin embargo. Very good job. And while. Like of oh, however, exactly. If you see, guys, there are conjunctions, right? Also, yeah, as well. And the adverse, of course, as well. Depends on how you use it. But sometimes they have like a similar okay, no. meaning. What? Oops. Oops. I, you, what? Aha, uh -huh, William. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you said Movelo, right? No. I'm talking to my teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. That's part of the process. Okay, guys. So let me ask you something. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Uh, this guy is going to be like, um, what can I say? Like a preview or like uh, extra information about what we're going to develop actually tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're going to focus on, on this topic. However, more of course. However, I just want you to give you like a heads up about that. But before we do that, because everybody's like, eh, right? <sighs> Is everybody sleeping right now? Is everybody I'm sleeping? Good. Is everybody like, eh, yeah? Oh. Want a cup of coffee? Want a glass of water? Want to eat something? Tea, coffee, right? Erwin and Telmita, coffee holics by heart. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so let's play some game. Okay, let's play some game. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know what? Today we're going to do something, something different. Let's play some game. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 yes. Um, guys, let me ask you something. Do you remember when you were young and uh, you have, for example, the girls, Delmita, Amelia, Doris, have a lot of guys who would like you to to invite you to go out for example and sometimes you say yes but sometimes you say no right because you don't want to go so you invent excuses right or no uh -huh, yes okay and, and the guys do you remember when you like a girl and you would like to like Basically, oh Fernando, remember when you were when you were like looking for now that the one that is your girl, your wife, but first of all was your girlfriend, and you were thinking, how am I going to invite this girl to go out with me? Uh huh. You see, yes, and you were like, okay, sure. uh huh. For Freddy's. In my case, it was kind of different. Really? Yeah, because in high school. Uh, ah, in high school. Oh. Yeah, in high school and actually in middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh, in the U.S. it's kind of different because girls are the ones that are looking for the guys. Ah, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's another culture. <laughs> yeah, because I remember that, like girls go, like used to go up to me and they were like, can you take me somewhere? I'm like, I don't even have a job. How can I take you out or something? Oh, <laughs> I did, so I did sweet. That. I depend from my mother, so I'm not, I'm not able to do that. So, okay, no, 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 that's okay. Don't worry. But do me a favor. We're going to do a girls versus boys. Okay. So, what I'm going to do right now is, um, guys, you need to think about a question. 
a question that you're going to formulate to any girl of the group. And the girl has two options, or to accept the invitation, or to refuse the invitation. Okay? Fernando? I, 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 I see like if you're having like a big question mark here. What kind of question? You need to flirt with a girl. <laughs> uh, not really, not really, not really. No, not really. But, uh, but please don't ask like, uh, it has to be questions, but don't, don't question that makes people, other people feel uncomfortable, okay? Not that kind of question. <laughs> yeah, for example, you can say, uh, Fernando. Hey, Fernando, it's nice to see you again. You know what, uh, okay. It was really nice the last time that we talked together and I was wondering, uh, which are your plans for this coming Saturday? Uh, would you like to go out uh, to the movie with me? And maybe you said, mm, I love to, I love movies, but you know what? It's Saturday, I already have plans. Because you really may apologize. Like you see, so yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you need to invent, okay? Okay, so everybody, guys, everybody will reject the invitation. Okay. Everybody. Okay. Uh huh, just you ready. Just, you just remember me the, the joke about Netflix um, when you really? invite someone to watch Netflix <laughs> instead of watching Netflix. Uh -huh. Exactly, so it's kind of be like that. Okay, guys, so I will give you only one minute. So you can think about one question. And also girls, one minute, and you can think about one question that you're gonna formulate to the guys. I'm going to divide the group into two. So we'll be girls versus boys. After one minute, we're going to go back and then you will start uh, forwarding the questions and you can select which girl from the group you would like to answer your question, okay? And vice versa, of course. All right, guys. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. All righty, let's see. So it's going to be only two. Mm -hmm. Let me put in one group, all the gear, all the guys, and in the other group, all the men and all the girls. Okay. Okay, I accept the invitation, guys. And if uh, a voice uh, question me, oh, Elma, <laughs> it's a, a good, good night today, you know? Oh, I, I, I would like uh, that you set me a date to go, to go salsa dancing tonight. Did you accept me? Oh, <laughs> and me, I don't, don't be so I mean, Delma. Come on, <laughs> you were the girls who actually would like to uh, make the guys suffer, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Sometimes we accept and sometimes we don't. But this time, guys, you're going to uh, reject the invitation. Yes, I have a uh, an answer. <gasps> oh yeah, my god you know what i will be waiting for your answer blanquita 
I think it's going to be really I'm direct like, to the point. I'm really mean. I know. It. I know. I know. I, like if I know you forever. No, no, maybe I imagine that. <laughs> yeah. You know what? And I, and I, I want you guys to put to turn on your camera if it's possible, Blanquita, for you. If not, that's okay. Because I just want to see your special your face. Your face. <laughs> exactly. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Okay. Okay, very good. I think, yeah, very good job, Glandy. <laughs> so hey, so I think guys, it's time, right? We already gave enough time to the guys. Okay, let's go back to business. <laughs> let's wait what they're <laughs> gonna ask us. Those guys. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Hey, are you guys ready? <laughs> All righty. Let's wait for the rest, right? Let's wait. We have Fernando, Alice, Kenya, Joshi, Doris, Amelia, William is back. There you go. Alexander, William is drinking his cup of tea or water. Let's see. Uh huh. Okay, Jarvin. Uh, William, we'll start with you. Here they go. <laughs> ah, come on. Okay, William. What would be the invitation? I uh, know who 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 uh, pick which one you would like to answer. Which girl would you like to answer your question? Okay. Um. Anybody. Only girls. Um, Only one. Then, okay. Um, so long. Uh, Blanca. 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 Oh my God. Why are you choosing her? <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. The question is, uh, what kind of movie do you like? And I was wondering if you would like to go to the movies this weekend with me. Oh my God, look at ton of boys. Oh God. Oh. Well, I like, I like the really romantic and, and hilarious romantic movies, but I have to travel to a convention this week and I come back till the next day, the next year. Sorry. I know you, you left him on tears. That's not fair. <laughs> you know what happened? What, Freddie? William, me, he had to choose that girl that you were always have making mess with him. Who? Mm. Ah, yes. That's what and, I'm thinking. And, and you think that she will answer yes? Yeah. yeah. No, because everybody needs to reject it. Mm. Okay, William, now you have your microphone on. Okay, it's your turn. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry, Freddy's. <laughs> How you say William? <laughs> I was William gonna choose like Blanca, but um, they already they already pick on her. Okay, so if you can pick her if you want to. You can choose the same oh, girl, okay. other one. That's okay. Maybe this time. If you yes. wanna, if you wanna suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Hey Blanca. I was thinking uh, when we finish, hey. um, when we finish studying all the all the modules of English, we could do like a picnic all together to hang out, like like to uh, like a graduation picnic. Sorry, Freddy's. I hate the sun and my skin is very sensitive, so I can go. Okay. I'll choose someone else. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, very good, Freddie. Excellent. And Erwin, what about you? What would be your invitation? <clears throat> Let's put some of your I, knowledge I and so, wisdom. Please. I feel so so cool I, <laughs> with my answers. Many, I know. <laughs> many, many years ago, teacher, I don't remember. Many years ago. Come on. <laughs> Do your best. Uh, and, you, and tell me who you want to answer your question. Your your invitation, actually. Okay. 
You can use modal verbs. Could you, would you, should. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're making a request. Okay. Would you like to have a fun night tomorrow? A night uh, on Saturday? Okay, who, who you want to answer your question? This is the question. Uh, would you who? like? Who? No, who? Uh, who? Who? Ah, for a woman. Yes, of course, but uh, okay. each of your classmates. <laughs> oh, in the, oh, the, 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 the class. Yes, Oops. of in course. The, in the class. Mm. Okay. Uh, Glenda. Glenda. Okay. Glenda. Okay. okay. Glenda. Go for it, girl. Hola. Hello. Hi. Hi. Did, uh, did you listen to uh, the invitation of what Erwin said? Okay. Would you like to, to a night fun uh, on Saturday? We can go to it. Uh -huh, Glendy. Glendy. Really, can I can it? hear you clear. Okay. Oh. Um, do, do it again, Erwin. Okay. Glenda, can you listen to me? Glenda? No, yes. Oops, is it, uh, Glenda, can you listen to me? Yes Teacher, or no, Glendy? But I hear you entrecortado. Ah, like cutting oh. off, cutting off. Oh, cutting off. I, yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> do it again, you can do it. Hi, Glenda. Can you listen to me now? Yes. Okay, Glenda. What would you do on Saturday at night? Well, uh, and on Saturday night, I really, I rest <laughs> in my house. <laughs> okay, perfect. You can go to, would you like to have a moment, a fun, fun moment in, on Saturday? Yes? In the afternoon, yes. As, oh, perfect. Okay, what would you like to, like to go? You can well, go to eat? <laughs> yes, it's easy, I do it, okay? Say it later. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Well, oh, you got a girl who accepted the invitation. You see, yes, the old tools and the old knowledge <laughs> yes, still works. In the sir. afternoon, it still works, man. It still works. You got the power. You got the power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? I am the salesman. Okay. Of course. Of course. I I tiger. I, I use uh, it. I uh, use okay. it. <laughs> I use it. I use it the more. Yeah. <laughs> to persuade, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. you can say, "Oh, uh, that, that is when you can use, for example, this Albert that we were talking about, guys." For example, you can say, "Ah, uh, okay, Glenda. Although, or even though, uh, you said that you rest in the afternoon, we can still go out." You see? Would you like to go out? You see? You see how the linking words can use? Mm -hmm, very good. Okay, the other gentleman, Mr. Fernando. What? What? Ah. <laughs> okay, choose a number from one to ten. Who, me? Please, yes. Uh, two. Two. Okay. Doris. Doris. No, but you don't count me. No. No. In, in my screen? She is the second. Ah, she's the second. Okay, so number three. Thelma. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Thelma, remember your days. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, the, the next Saturday, I am having a barbecue in my house. Uh, would you like to, to come in? Oh my God, in your house. Yes. Mm, let me see. The first and the, um, I think I would like to, uh, 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 I would, <laughs> I don't know uh, what kind of meat. Uh, in barbecue, you have it. 
Uh, I will yeah. cook some ribs. Oh, some ribs. I love, I love this. This food, okay. Um, maybe, uh, meanwhile, uh, do you, do you make in a salad with the, the, this meat? <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, Russian salad. Okay, okay. And, um, well, I think that finally, I, I, I would like to accept to you, invite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another <laughs> one who used his tools. Very good. <laughs> Tell me that you were supposed to reject and not to accept it. <laughs> Oh my God. No, no, I can't. I can't. You know what? I would say, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm vegetarian. <laughs> and you like, kick it. <laughs> I love this food. Oh. Ah, so, so he asked you an invitation, basically, that was actually your favorite. You cannot resist. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, let me try. Andresito, what about you? Okay. Can you please formulate a question to Joshi? Okay. Yes. Okay, Joshi. Are uh, you free next Saturday? Sorry, Andres. I have to work the whole day. Okay. And what about Sunday? On Sunday, I had an overtime. And Monday? <laughs> it's my brother's birthday. Okay. So I will be with him. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, very good. She's like, uh, she's like a froze. She's a has a frozen card. Okay, no, that's okay. I'm, I'm teasing you. Very good, very good, Joshi. She's a good example of how to reject. Okay, good. And let's see. And, and, um, Jarvin. Hello. Hello, sir. Could you please formulate the question to Madeline? To Madeline? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Madeline. Yes, hello. Oh my God, look at her voice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my God, what a sexy voice. Like, I, 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 I think I, need, I imagine Madeline like. Hello, yeah. baby. Hello. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay. How Tell are you today? Oh my God, look at his face. You Madeline, listen? he said, how are you today? Come on. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't listen. <laughs> He's in the mood right now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tell me, I didn't listen. Can you repeat, please? Okay, how are you today? I'm fine, I'm so tired but good okay so great i have an important question for you yes tell me please okay would you like to have a perfect day with me <laughs> asking what is a perfect day <laughs> man <don't> that's know. <laughs> know. <laughs> Let uh, <me> be. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me how can be that day? Okay, <laughs> we can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, but uh, tell me something. You only have to say yes. And enjoy the time. <laughs> the class is over. Bye. <laughs> 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 Natalie, accept or no? Yes or no? Okay, when a man count. doesn't have a plan, Maybe. it doesn't work. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. I'm sorry. <laughs> jealous person. I'm not a jealous person. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> it is that important? No. I'm sorry, what? but I think, but I think you got disconnected, Jeremy. <laughs> 
<laughs> very good. That was, that was one of my favorite ones. Very good. But you know what? What I like, Darwin, about your eyes. You were like, I don't yeah. care. I don't mind. <laughs> oh, and I was like, oh my gosh, shame on you. <laughs> very good. Very good. Good job, guys. Good job. All righty. Uh, the wife of Darwin behind behind yeah, is like, what are you right? saying? You know you're saying you're going to sleep today out with the dog. Just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Very good, guys. You see, even uh, even though even though you are not quite familiar with the um, with the adverbs that we use with a uh, subordinate clause and all of a sudden you use it. All of you use it. I remember that Telmita said. Meanwhile, I remember that she used that phrase. So you see, but tomorrow we're going to get deeply on that. And also like not only the meanings of that and, and also uh, tips about it, but also we're going to do a lot of practice and we're going to do uh, to check the difference between all those, even though, what does it mean each of them? What's the main difference? We're going to put it in practice that and also we're going to do an, a writing examples, okay? But don't worry, you did a really good job today. Okay, today it's time for me to speak with somebody else. Time passed really fast. Can you imagine 10.03? It's amazing. Okay, so let's see who's going to be the victim. Sorry, the participant. Uh, Freddy's, can you stay? Okay. <laughs> the rest, bye. That was funny. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye. bye. See you later. Bye. Take care. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 <laughs> you know what was funny? What, Freddy's? All my classmates thought that I was gonna pick on you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why they say that? What do you think they thought about that? It, um, I'm like, do you really have someone to pick on? And they're like, we already know who you're gonna pick on. I'm like, who? So you're you're gonna pick on the teacher. <laughs> I'm like, no, she's not gonna let no one pick on her. Eh, no, <laughs> you yeah. were totally right. <laughs> Hey, but do you like this this uh, exercise? It was really cool, right? It was a little yeah. bit relaxing. Yeah. All righty. Tell me, how do you feel so far? What about the the topics that we have seen, the exercises we have done so far? Do you like them? Do you would like to uh, get more of something? Or do you have any feedback for me? Go ahead, sir. The microphone is all yours. Actually, right now, I think everything is good because... Uh, Right now we have we are being we have been learning more about like with you like what we're going to see if we're applying for a call center. Mm -hmm. That's why I've been seeing that like most of the of the time on in the class that we're actually seeing all the scenarios of, of a call center. Uh huh. Most likely, yes. Mm hmm. But do you like that? Do you like to see a different as scenarios? I just want your actually, opinion about no, that. Because because we're uh, we actually we're learning, we're, we actually we want to learn more about how to to be on a customer service or how to interact with the other person in in a job. So it's pretty good because it, what the other teachers is was like more. So I'm kind of like more strict to the to the manual and kind of boring. So we need to we need to get something new in order to actually not not new like something more like get into what we're actually gonna be doing in the future. Like more practical, you mean? Yeah. More in real life. Mm hmm Yes, it's because you know we have to like. So sometimes they said, for example, oh, just grammar is blah, 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 is boring. But you, I, I have, I'm trying to teach you the tools of that so you will be able to use it in a real basis. I know, yeah. for example, sometimes grammar, there's not like topic that everybody loves, right? However, it's really, really useful. Not only like when you're speaking and when you're writing. So it's, it's really because you, in your job, you will, you will need to write. You will need to speak, you will need to read, and you will need to use 
all the vocabulary that you have, for example. So it's really crucial that you learn how to do that correctly and improve your vocabulary. For example, the linking works that we were talking last thing right now, although even though, et cetera, you will use it. If, for example, you're going to send an email. Yeah. Or if you're going to answer somebody else's questions, for example, definitely you would need it. So that's why I know that part is a little bit like, mm, right? But it's really important that you learn it. Well, I'm so glad that you gave me that feedback. How about me? Do you have any feedback for me? No. <laughs> this, 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 uh, besides uh, supposedly to ask me any, uh, an invitation? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <laughs> Not just dizzy, your friend. Really? You can say anything. That's okay for me. Uh, anything that you right want, that you want to me to improve or something, that's okay for me. Go for it. No, I time. think everything is good because <laughs> I think we're like kind of similar. <laughs> kind of similar to what? Because we get sometimes out of the context. <laughs> uh, sometimes, yes. Sometimes. Yeah. Just to like give you like some power up, right? Yeah. And then move on. Okay, cool. If you don't have anything to say, bye. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, no. Thank you so much. I know that you're really tired. Maybe it has been like, like a really tough day for you today. Um, uh, today was an easy day. Oh, uh, really? Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's nice to hear because sometimes you're really tired, right? I remember that the last time you had a yeah. headache. Yeah. I remember that, yes. And I, and I know they were really tired, but, but I do really appreciate that you took the extra time to be here on the one-on-one -on -one session. I don't know if you already have your dinner. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. But if not, you can have an extra break. That's no problem. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> you will do? Okay. Yeah. At least a cup of coffee will be fine. Or, or, a, or a soda, right? I think I thought, well, I remember you said that, you, that you're a alcoholic or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you said that. I think Blanky too. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's time to say goodbye. Hugs. Okay, and kisses. See ya. Bye bye. Take care.